Hi, Tom from Drumwise here. If you're watching this video, you may have a problem with your Roland CY16RT symbol. Firstly, I'd like to say that these Roland symbols are normally very reliable, but this CY16 has been used quite extensively in its 18 months with us at the studio. If your symbol no longer chokes as it should, you may have a problem with the pressure sensor inside. The symbol should choke from about 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. As you can see, this one doesn't. In one of our previous videos, we show how to replace the pressure sensor on a Roland symbol. Unfortunately, with this new thinner design, this is no longer possible, so the entire frame assembly needs to be replaced. If we take a look inside the symbol, we can see the pressure sensor and we can also see why it's failed. It seems to have split in half. Obviously don't take your symbol apart like this. This is the old symbol that is going to go in the bin. Start by removing the rubber cover on the underside. You may need a screwdriver for this. Undo the two screws that hold the cable in place. Then unplug the green pressure sensor in two places. Now unscrew the input jack assembly. Now it's one of the fiddly bits. You have to try and remove the PSO sensor without damaging it. This is very, very fragile, so you've got to be very careful when removing this. It has a double-sided sticky foam pad underneath it. It's best not to use a normal screwdriver. Here I'm using a plastic dash trim tool, which did the job perfectly. Now it's time to clean the sticky pad off the back of the sensor as best as you can. This is just to help it to stick to the new frame assembly. To begin with here, I've just used my fingers and my thumb to rub the sticky stuff away as best as I can. Once the majority of it's gone, I've used some sticky stuff remover to do the rest. Now we need to stick on the new sticky foam pad. Unfortunately, I didn't have any round ones and the new frame assembly doesn't come with one. So I've just cut a square one into a rough circle. Stick it to the sensor and get out your new frame assembly. The frame assembly is part number 510006 Stick the sensor to the new frame assembly. Put the cable in place and then locate the screws to hold it in place. Then screw down the jack assembly. Then very carefully plug in the green pressure sensor strips. At this point, it would be a good idea to test the symbol to make sure it's working properly. When you know it's working, you have to put the rubber housing back. This is actually the most difficult part of the entire procedure. Make sure the two jack inputs are sticking through the holes. Before trying to push in any of the other rubber feet, be sure to check the very center of the symbol this is what you're going to want it to look like. To get the centre part to actually locate, it's a good idea to put the symbol flat on the floor and then push quite hard with the end of a screwdriver or similar. 
Once you've done this, the fiddly bit really begins. You have to get the screwdriver underneath the rubber parts and pull them outwards and then push them down and in to locate them. And hey presto, we've got a working CY16RT. Thanks for watching, I hope that's been helpful. I'm Tom from Drumwise.